Hey folks, welcome to Guitar Daily, it's Nick Granville here, coming at you live from Wellington, New Zealand. Well, not exactly live, coming to you from Wellington, New Zealand. Hope everybody's well. Um, I had a comment yesterday or the day before from someone asking about the whole tone scale thing that I did. Um, good spotting too, by the way. Um, it wasn't something that I even think about anymore, it's just kind of something that I do. Um, and particularly, and he asked, could I explain it? So I'm like, yeah, sure thing with the whole tone scale is it's a symmetrical scale. So if we're in the key of A, um, you're going to go up in whole tone. So A goes up to B, B goes up to C sharp, C sharp goes up to D sharp, D sharp goes up to F, to G. All right. But you can also play it in a position and play three along here. symmetrical right so whatever you play on that string just move up one fret play the same move up one fret till you get to the B string then move up two frets of course right that's all pretty straightforward right of course you can play it in a position all right I'll do that again interesting thing about it because it's symmetrical you end up with like these augmented chords in it so a c sharp f and it moves up a tone and repeats because it's all it's symmetrical right and then of course if we were to play it in b flat and then we're back to b it's the exact same thing as the a right There's really only two keys, A and B flat, right? Because everything else is just a derivative of one of those two. So the, the way I use it is I use it over the five chord of a song. So there I was kind of jamming on this thing with this, uh, uh, what's it called? Let's have a look. It's an app. Oh, it's called Drum Genius. It's an app, a really great app for practicing. I much prefer to do that to a metronome. You know, they're proper loops of really good players. So that was the, I don't know how you say it, Amen Break or... A, yeah, Amen Break, I guess, Amen, Amen, whichever, um, one of the most sampled loops of all times, 1969, the so-called Amen Break came from the basis for drum and bass and juggle music. Yeah, so kind of like the funky drummer, right? So essentially I was thinking A, for the most part, A minor to E7, right? And on the E7 chord, if I play the whole tone scale, I end up with the root note, the ninth, that's kind of an interesting note, because usually you go with a flat 9 or sharp 9. Then we have the 3rd, that's cool. Then we have the flat 5 or sharp 11, whichever way you want to look at that. So that's the first colour note. Then we have the raised 5th or flat 6. Then we have the flat 7 in the root. So it's kind of got some colour notes, but, but with that ninth in there too, it's kind of got a prettiness about it as well. that sort of thing so I'll use it over there and, and there's some patterns that I use all the time this is one right, I'm just starting from E and I'm going one two three notes up right a, a, of an augmented chord and then I move up a tone move up a tone up a tone and resolve back to the A and I'll go into something A minor something A minor to kind of finish it off right because if you don't resolve then it's just a bunch of wrong notes so that's one I use a lot but you can do any shape to be honest it could be just this that fits out of the whole tone you know and you could use it chords or solo note lines and of course you can use this stuff with chromaticism Right, and there I'm just making sure I'm landing on a strong beat with the down chord. Um, so anything else is just a passing, right? Um, but there's a lot of... And there, that all works, it's just chromatic, but I'm actually landing on a chord that... that uh, finishing on one of the, the chords that fits in the whole tone, right? 
So use it on the five chord a lot, and I didn't even realize I do it. It's just kind of something I've been doing for a, for quite a while now, and um, someone spotted it and then asked a comment about it. So that's why I thought I'd cover it today. Now, there's heaps you can do with this. This is just like the beginning, right? If we think about it, remember I mentioned there were only two, right? E and F, essentially, and then it repeats itself, but F sharp is the same as E. But if we think about E, so essentially the same as B flat, isn't it? Right? So we could go A minor, and this is something I do a bit too, and then to B flat whole tone, because it's the same set of notes as E whole tone, right? But the, the, the great thing about that is you're thinking differently about it, right? You're not going to be heading towards an E note, right? I'm heading towards a B flat note. See, I'm going to resolve differently, I'm going to think differently, my, my root note perspective is different. That's a good way of thinking about it. I do the same thing with the altered scale too, um, which I've actually done a lesson on before. If you look back through my guitar daily videos, you'll see that there. To me, whole tone um, is, is a great sound. To me, altered is a great sound. They're different. Some people just hear a bunch of sort of out notes, and if their ear is not developed enough, then they just kind of all lump them into the same. They're not the same. But I understand if people, that's where your level of hearing is, that's, you know, it takes time to sort of develop your hearing around these things. So, yeah, I hope this has been useful. That's a little kind of brief look at whole tone scale and how I might approach it and use it. Um, it's a great sound. It's a good sound. So um, if you like this, please subscribe. I post every day on YouTube. Um, this is my daily thing I do, guitar daily, right? Um, yeah, so uh, live stream tomorrow on Sunday will be at... An earlier time I'm gonna post make a post about that um, I'm actually gonna head out in the evening and go and support a friend's gig um, I'm not playing I'm just gonna go and uh, be part of uh, what what music they're making It's a piano uh, dual dual pianos so two pianos um, both great musicians and great friends so I really want to go to that gig so I'm gonna miss the live normal time which would be 6 30 p.m. but I'll, I'll do one during the day and I'll, I'll advise that probably gonna be just after midday or something like that um, anyway, I'll make a post. Thanks so much for watching. Cheers.